Hello, my name is Anastasia Diel and together with my colleagues we have been investigating how song and dance are coordinated in the extraordinary display of the superb lyrebird. In humans, music and dance are intimately connected both within our languages and within our performances. Music and dance are often coordinated and one way we do this is by dancing different movements to different songs. For example, we waltz to waltz music but we salsa to salsa music. The question we address here is whether this is a uniquely human behaviour or whether other animals might do something similar. Superb lyrebirds live in the majestic tree fern filled forests of southeastern Australia. They are very large songbirds, they weigh approximately one kilogram, and they spend most of their lives on the ground. In lyrebirds, the females are very independent. She alone will raise a chick and build the nest and defend her territory from other females. The male has no parental duties. All he has to do is to impress a female or many females. And male lyrebirds are indeed very impressive. First of all, lyrebirds look fantastic. They have a lovely long tail that they invert over the top of their heads during displays. Despite their beauty, lyrebirds are most famous for their vocal abilities. They are accomplished mimics, mimicking uh, many different sounds, but mainly the songs and calls of other species of bird. They also have an intriguing song and dance display, and this display is crucial for male lyrebirds. When females are fertile and ready to mate, they will visit males on their territory. If a female likes a male, she will mate with him immediately following his dance. I'm now going to take you through the song and dance display itself. The first surprising thing about this display is that despite the fact that lyrebirds have a repertoire of different song types, numbering well over a hundred, when they dance they sing just four different songs. I'm going to play you each of those songs, and while I play the songs I'm going to show you a sonogram, which is a pictorial representation of sound. It's a little bit like a musical score. You have time measured on the x-axis, and on the y-axis is frequency, which is like a measure of pitch. We're going to start with song A, which sounds rather like a 1980s video arcade game. Song A. Song B is loud and rather short. Song C is also short but rather quiet. And song D tends to be much longer than the other songs and it tends to be quite buzzy. The next thing we discovered is that lyrebirds structure their song and dance displays in a very particular way. They usually begin their displays singing song type A, they then alternate between song types B and C. There's usually a recapitulation of song type A before they finish their song and dance displays with song type D. This sonogram shows you a typical lyrebird song and dance display. So what about the lyrebird's dance? We discovered that lyrebirds have a distinct dance choreography for each different song they sing. The lyrebird adopts two different tail positions during his dance. When he's singing song type A, his tail is spread out rather like a veil. And this is a posture he also adopts while he's singing song type D. However, in the middle of the dance, he narrows his tail so that it resembles a mohawk. And he sings song types B and C while his tail is in this position. Looking at the lyrebird's uh, legs and feet, when he's singing song type A, he usually walks sideways, and this is rather like the grapevine step in human dances. While singing song type B, he's usually still, but it all happens in song type C. The lyrebird jumps or bobs, and he flaps his wings. Once again, he's usually stationary for song type D. Just like humans, lyrebirds are performing different dances to different songs. Importantly, these dance movements are an optional addition to singing. Lyrebirds can and do sometimes sing without dancing. This observation and the fact that lyrebirds sometimes appear to make mistakes by dancing the wrong type of movement to the wrong type of song suggests that coordinating song and dance can be challenging for lyrebirds, just as it can be difficult for us humans. I'm going to leave you with a video of a lyrebird performing a coordinated song and dance display in the wild. <laughs> 